Hey everybody, hello. Oh, well, no. girl. Hell no, Y'all, so I've tried to do this video a few times and I haven't been able to get it out because of her. So y'all just bear with me because I'm hoping that this is the last time that I have to do this. But hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nashi, otherwise known as Ethereal Nashi. And thank you for tuning in today. Today I wanna make a mods video centered around my favorite food mods, what I've been playing with, and what I have to have in my game. Hopefully you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I really would love to put content out there, and I'm very open to suggestions. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the mod. The first mod that I want to get into with y'all is QMBB's Stirring the Pot mod. This mod, y'all, has recently become one of my favorite mods because of the realism that it adds to my game, the different foods that you can cook, all of the different realistic recipes that you may be very familiar with. If you know, you know. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Right now, I got her making some pasta. And y'all, excuse her because she has terrible periods. And um, it seems like nothing that she does works. So she's always miserable when it's time for her period. Don't mind her symptoms, okay? So this is the pasta that was just made using QMBB's mod, y'all. When I say these textures, like I can tell what's going on in this bowl. I know that it's pasta. I know that there's parsley and sauce. I can see what's going on. Show y'all the rest of the recipes that I made earlier for the video um, so that I wouldn't have to cook like nine or 10 recipes just so y'all can see exactly what this mod is working with. I was able to make collard greens. Look at these collard greens, y'all. Come on now, get into the textures. I can see the specks and flecks of flakes. This is everything that we need. We got a smothered chicken in mashed potatoes, fried catfish, fried chicken. We got baked mac and cheese, jambalaya, a sweet potato and cream pie, I believe, black eyed peas, and a southern pecan pie, y'all. This mod is everything. If you do not have this mod in your game, please make sure you get it. It's called Stirring the Pot, and it is by QMBB. I'm going to be putting their information because y'all don't need to miss out on a mod like this. Like, do y'all see this right now? This is, come on, if you don't got this in your game, you're not winning. Some of these foods you can even sell to local shops and make a little bit of money for your Sims. If you're doing any kind of challenge that requires you to use your skills to make money, this is a good mod that you can use. As I can sell my greens, my fried chicken, catfish. I can sell pretty much all of these dishes and make a good bit of money. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Now y'all might have seen these waffles in the background. This mod is the Waffle Maker Mod by Balkanica. I love this mod because you can get all different types of waffle for your Sims. I have some smoked salmon waffles right here. And then I have a poached egg and bacon with waffles here. You can make several different types. Cheese and ham waffles, banana waffles. You can make strawberry waffles chocolate waffles and mashed potato waffles i'm going to make some raspberry and white chocolate waffles just so y'all can see how the mod works all you have to do is click on it click make waffles and then choose the type of waffles that you like mine are getting kind of stank because i got them sitting over here for this video so i'm going to clean that up so as y'all can see we got some raspberry and white chocolate waffles you can see the little raspberry mumps or whatever just giving you that glimpse of realism these waffles look delicious and i'm pretty sure your sims will enjoy it the salmon waffles i really like the way i can see the parsley i like the lemon the spices it just looks really cute and it looks really good in game especially when you use different shaders yeah don't sleep on the waffle maker. This next mod that I want to show y'all is the Smoothie Maker mod by Ice Moon Moon. You can make 25 different smoothies. I'm going to go ahead and empty this out so I can um, show y'all. So you can make 25 different smoothies in each of these categories. I'm going to choose a healthy smoothie and I'm just going to do spinach just to show y'all how the mod operates. As you can see, it fills up as it's making so you can pour your own cup or just grab you a cup from the machine she is now enjoying her smoothie 
I wish I could have some of that, girl. Not her swishing it around like wine. The next mod I want to show y'all is also by Balconica. It is a soup pot, and you can make a creamy soup of the day. You can either make an entire pot for your family, or you can make a bowl of it. And they have all types of soup that you can make. Cheeseburger soup, turnip soup, fresh asparagus soup. All of these soups can be acquired from this pot. I'm going to make a sausage tortellini soup so y'all can see exactly how it looks. It is creating a soup inside of the pot. And there it is. Check that out, y'all. The textures, the toast, everything just looks so good. This mod is so cute in game. Adds realism. Like, I keep saying this stuff as realism, but it really do, y'all. Like, I could not eat in game without these mods. Like, I just love having these mods in my game. The next mod is kind of a small mod. It's just a little cookie jar from Robichine, and you can get three different types of cookies. You can get a flirty cookie, chocolate chip cookie, or a black and a flirty heart cookie, sorry, or a black and white cookie. I'm gonna do the flirty heart cookie because last time my Sim had a heart cookie out of that jar, she ended up with like moodlets and she didn't know where they came from, and I thought that was so cute. So anytime you wanna have like a romantic dinner date or you just have to get in the mood instead of hopping in a steamy shower, you can eat one of these heart-shaped cookies. She got a moodlet from the smoothie. It says, liquid health from having healthy green smoothie full of nutrients and good taste. This smoothie gives an awesome boost. So that's cool you can get little moodlets the next and final mod that i want to show y'all is the oni's recipe pack some of you well most of you may already have this mod in your game but i'm going to show it anyway because it updates constantly so oni's grocery cook and zoomers delivery plus are all mods that come with this singular item the Zoomers Delivery Plus is not a mod in itself, but just kind of like an add-on to the Zoomers Delivery that you get in-game. You can do chicken, Chinese, Sim Thuk Delivery, Sussel Burger, and Smiley Corn Dog. I'm going to do a Sussel Burger, and I'm going to get a vegan burger. So what you do is you click that, place your order, and somebody comes to your door and delivers the food. I got a lot of food in my kitchen and my doggy is hungry. Let me feed him. So as you can see, she's ordering her food. He's gonna fill up his pet bowl and I'm gonna have her go to the bathroom. Here is my delivery person, you guys. She is faceless. Y'all, this is terrifying. If somebody came to my house to deliver food looking like this, baby. I'm calling the police. So we're gonna come and get our food. She is now opening her delivery. And when you open your delivery, it ends up in your inventory. So I'm just gonna go in here and put it on the table. And here is her vegan Tulsa burger right next to her strawberry kiwi smoothie. Everything just looks like it goes together, super cohesive. And I just love using these mods together and separately. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it for y'all. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It will really help me out. And I'm always open to suggestions if y'all just want to let me know what y'all want to see. And if you like this video, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.